Good morning. Today it is Stacking Sunday again. I'm dressed all up for the occasion in my Cyril shirt because we are definitely going to use Cyril once more. Um, but yeah, what is Stacking Sunday you might ask? Stacking Sunday is about this hard drive where I have all my data, data from 2023, which I haven't stacked yet. Well, some of it I did and uh, I did stack, but um, there's also a lot of unstacked data on this. And we're going to look at it and see if it was any good. Last video, I went a bit overboard and I uh, <laughs> went ahead and processed everything as well, which took a bit longer. I'm not going to do that, I think, but we'll see. I uh, tend to go rambling a lot. So uh, let's look at my screen and then we'll see uh, what data is there. The drive has been connected and it opened on the other screen, which I didn't realize. Okay, so I have this folder here with all the data. The last time we went into the heart nebula, so today it's the soul nebula. What kind of data do we have? Well, we have something in O3, not that much, only two previews of 300 seconds each. And some time later on the 1st of March, I shot a lot of more data. Let's only see the, um, the, the normal subs. So I have here subs in sulfur, subs in oxygen and subs in H alpha. Um, and this will allow me to create a picture in a palette named the Hubble palette. And it's uh, uh, a palette that got popularized by an image by the Hubble Space Telescope. Uh, it was processed by one Jeff Hester and in the processing of uh, that Hubble data, he noticed that when he put the sulfur in red, the H-alpha in the green and the oxygen in the blue, it will create a very, I'd say, a representation of the gases in space in such a way that you can clearly see the differences, the contrast and stuff. I, I don't own a Hubble Space Telescope. I can take Hubble palette images as well. I start to ramble again, so let's quickly dive into uh, stacking this data. So let's first go with the HA. Um, I'm not going to do any tutorial here. It's just I'm going to stack it and uh, We'll see. So this is Sol HA. Yes, we'll have to calibrate it. Um, these are 300 second exposures. So I have this folder here with my camera. Uh, oh no, <laughs> for this camera, I take shortcuts. I don't do any uh, darks. I do only bias and um, flats. I have this master bias and I have a flat, hopefully, that is um, matching the data. So we were at the 1st of March in 2023. Let's go into my main folder here. I have a folder called flats. Let's order it by name. And if I go to my William Optics HA, then... 2023, the closest flat I have is from May. Okay, going to use that. Um, done. We're going to calibrate it. If I look at the auto stretch, you can see here the way it looks now. And after calibrating, it took away a few blemishes. Blemishes? due to dust modes and vignetting. Okay, let's go into a new sequence, this time the oxygen, yada, yada, yada. You all know the game, I guess. So the bias will stay the same, but I will need to find uh, another matching flat. 
Uh, let's let's use these ones. It's better. So the 14th of February, uh, no December, a year before. As I said, this is not a tutorial. It's just let's see what I have and perhaps it's good. Perhaps it's not. We'll see. So we have that and we go back and we will add the silver as well. Sol S. Calibration. Let's not bother looking at my hard drive. Let's go to latest flats here. Sulfur. Even older. I don't care. Bum 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 bum. Bum. So let's go and stack these. First we need to register them and this all goes pretty quickly so I'm not going to bother looking at the quality it's uh, probably all good or good enough for this purpose. I'm going to stack again with additive with scaling I'm going to use the winterize sigma clipping feature uh, for pixel rejection so when a satellite or something is in one of these uh, images it will get removed and uh, yeah let's Go ahead and stack those. So here we have the Sol Nebula and then specifically the Sulfur data. Let's go and load the sequence for HA and do a register there as well. A few moments later. Oh wait, I made him. I made a boo boo. <laughs> See? There's registered Sol HA and a registered PP Sol S. So I now stacked the uncalibrated HA data. <sighs> Let's do that again. I'll load the uh, pre-processed um, HA data and register that. And then we're going to reject that one bad frame and then we're going to uh, stack it. So there's that uh, bad frame again. See, yeah, let's get rid of it and let's stack it. There we go. So now we have the registered pre processed soul in HA. And we already did the S, so that leaves us with the oxygen. Um, where's the oxygen pre processed? There we have it. Will this also have bad data? Might have been a gust of wind or something, knocking my tripod a bit. Didn't seem to be particularly different among the subs, so I'll stack them all. So, S, H, O. We now have three. Let's uh, go back to the conversion tab because I now want to align those on top of each other because if I Let's name it Sol hash, uh, SHO. If I search for stacked, then I can see only the things that I need. So these three is what we need. So this one was the unpreprocessed one. These three we need. So SHO. If I now look at the uh, sequence, we can see that uh, well, it's not really matching. The stars are jumping around from one image to the other. So we need to register these three on top of one another. We're not going to stack them, that doesn't make sense, but we will end up with three files which are now aligned to each other. See, the stars are no longer jumping around. So um, let's go and give these three uh, subs, these three uh, files a, a stretch and then we'll go and match them together in the um, SHO palette. I just do the auto stretch. I don't bother with generalized hyperbolic stretch transformations or all those fancy things. I'm going to just simply do an auto stretch on all three of them. 
And by the way, if you think, hey, my Cyril is looking a bit different, that's because I'm running a developer version. Thanks, developers. And um, it also has a few different menus now. So uh, the, um, the image plate solver has moved into this menu, so it's no longer in the uh, hamburger menu, which is, I think, a big improvement because I will always end it up in the preferences screen first until I realize, oh no, I need to dive in one menu deeper. So this is better. Okay, this, uh, what was his name again? Jeff Hester. He found that uh, when we have these three monochrome images and we want to combine them into something uh, nice, then uh, we can use something called the SH O palette. I want so stretch these three files there. So Cyril already knows this is S, this is H, and this is O. So if I do it like this, I would end up with an image that somewhat looks nice already. So this is SHO. This is an image that has a nice contrast between the three colors. Let's uh, do a crop on it. There we go. Perhaps now we can do some basic uh, background abstraction. Let's add some ditter to it. Let's don't mess around with the areas that have nebulosity and will not be super precise here, but you get the point. This one can go, these are clearly in violation of the nebula rule. This is also nebulosity, right? Let's click that. That's the uh, top of the heart nebula. So potentially, yeah, I'm going to try it. Can you guess? I guess you guess, right. Uh, something like this. I don't uh, mind. Let's compute the background. Let's see what it does. And here we go. Come on. Yeah, I like this better. Let's apply it. Okay. We'll save it. We'll call it sol, oh, sol.tiff. Uh, I could go and do all kinds of fancy stuff with star removal and yada, yada, yada. Uh, I don't want to uh, make it any more complicated. Let's uh, go into the uh, file explorer. Let's look up those files. We have this one and we have the sol tiff there and I'm going to right click it and I'm going into more options and I go into stitch using image composite editor. If you want to know about uh, the image composite editor, there's a video uh, that I created a long time ago that uh, details something around that. Not sure if this is going to work because those images are quite distinct from each other, but let's let's try. Then there is a final attempt that we can make. I'm going to do that in Photoshop. I'll load the two files. I'll convert them to the working area. There we have it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, copy the entire layer of the Sol Nebula and I'm going to put it into the image of the Heart Nebula. I'm going to convert the background into a layer. I'll select both layers, I'll do Edit and I try Auto Align Layer. I leave everything at Auto. I'll check the geometric distortion thing because it potentially might help and nope I think I know why I also think I know why 
I, uh, image composite editor bugged out on me. The uh, image is still in the incorrect orientation. Let's uh, do the flip. So this is something that needs to be flipped horizontally. And now we have things that align to one another. See? Let's, uh, oh, let's select it again, move it in, select both layers, and we'll go into auto-align layers. Yep. Try again. It's going to work. There's a progress bar on my other screen. But you can see now, ta-da! Obviously, the color scheme is totally different. This was HOO, this was SHO, and I noticed that I'm going to end up in a ramble mode again, but le let's just click the auto blend layers as well, and then uh, see what it, ha what it does. I'm going to uh, do the panorama seamless tones, and uh, there's a progress bar again. See, this is nice. <laughs> It's a bit weird. Well, I like it. Can do some uh, cropping on it and then we'll call it a day and a uh, done video. Okay. Let's uh, do the crop a bit, uh, rotate it a bit so it fits in a way that we don't get to lose too much of the, uh, of the hard nebula. Thing like this, and drag this one a bit down. How does it look? It looks okay. Da, 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 da. There we go. Soul and heart. This was Stacking sun Sunday again. So I, I, I can't speak anymore. This was Stacking Sunday again. I'm going to uh, edit this video again in, uh, in shortcut. I hope it doesn't take so long as last time, because last time I was done at, uh, I don't know, two o'clock or so in the, in the afternoon, and uh, the rendering took ages. After midnight, <laughs> it was done, and then I found a, stack, uh, a render error. I had to do it all over again. So I hope that this Stacking Sunday video will be the first in this series to be completed and upload it on a Sunday. Wish me luck, see you next time, and thanks for watching.